When you think of farm animals, there are two birds that instantly come to mind, the ever-familiar chicken and the charming, waddling duck. They might look like simple backyard creatures at first glance, but the moment you put them side by side, you start to realize just how different and surprisingly fascinating they really are. And that brings us to today's topic, chicken versus duck. Why do people compare them so often? What actually sets them apart? And is one really better than the other? In this video, we're uncovering the quirks, personalities, abilities, and hidden secrets behind these two iconic birds. So let's kick things off right here on History of Simple Things. Chickens and ducks may share the same barnyard, but their roots couldn't be more different. Chickens are descendants of the red jungle fowl, a wild bird native to Southeast Asia. They were domesticated over 8,000 years ago, mainly for their fighting ability, before eventually becoming the global symbol of breakfast we know today. Ducks, on the other hand, trace their ancestry mostly to the mallard, which first became domesticated in China around 4,000 years ago. While chickens came from forests and ground-dwelling behavior, ducks evolved alongside wetlands, rivers, and lakes. So right from the beginning, one bird was made for land and the other for water. Let's start with the obvious. Chickens walk, ducks waddle. Chickens have strong, dry feet designed for scratching and pecking around on dirt. Their claws help them dig for insects, seeds, and anything edible. Ducks, however, have the signature webbed feet, perfect for swimming and paddling, even if it makes them look a bit silly on land. Their feathers also tell a story. A duck's feathers are coated in a natural waterproof oil, secreted from a special gland near the tail. This keeps them buoyant and dry even in cold water. Chickens don't have this waterproofing, which is why a soaked chicken looks like it's having the worst day of its life. Their beaks also reflect their lifestyles. Chickens have pointed beaks for precision pecking, while ducks have flat spatula-shaped bills that act like built-in strainers to filter food from water. If chickens and ducks were people, chickens would be the busy, slightly anxious neighbors who always have somewhere to be, while ducks would be the laid-back goofballs who just want to splash around. Chickens tend to stick to a strict pecking order, literally. There's a hierarchy, and everyone knows their place. This leads to bossy hens, tough roosters, and some drama here and there. Ducks? They have a social structure, too, but generally they're way more easygoing. They bond tightly with their group, often communicating through soft quacks and whistles. Ducks usually get along better with each other than chickens do. Also, chickens are more likely to panic at sudden movements. Ducks may waddle away quickly, but they don't have the same level of everyday paranoia. Believe it or not, both chickens and ducks are pretty smart. They're just smart in different ways. Chickens are excellent at recalling faces, both human and animal. They can recognize over 100 individuals and figure out who's friend or foe. They also learn routines quickly and can solve simple puzzles. Ducks show their intelligence in social and emotional ways. Research shows that ducklings can imprint almost immediately and learn incredibly fast. Ducks also display empathy-like behavior, often staying close when a flock mate is stressed. If chickens are the logical thinkers, ducks are the emotional geniuses. Here's where the debate gets real. The eggs. Chicken eggs are obviously the global standard. Affordable, mild in flavor, and available everywhere. They're lighter, easier to cook with, and perfect for everyday meals. Duck eggs, though? They're the underdogs with a surprising punch. Duck eggs have larger yolks, richer flavor, 
and higher fat content. Bakers love them because they make cakes and pastries fluffier and more decadent. They also have thicker shells, which means longer shelf life. So which is better? It depends. Chicken eggs are gentle and versatile. Duck eggs are bold and bakery approved. Chickens are the world's go-to protein and are easily one of the most consumed meats on earth. Their flavor is lighter, their texture tends to be softer, and almost every culture has a signature chicken dish. Duck meat, meanwhile, is darker, richer, and more gamey. It has a deeper flavor profile and a higher fat content, especially in the skin. Think of dishes like Peking duck or duck confit. They aren't everyday meals, but when people crave duck, they're usually looking for something special. Chickens are everyday comfort food. Ducks are the gourmet option. If you're thinking of raising either bird, this part matters. Chickens need dry land, a coop, and plenty of space to scratch and forage. They're relatively low maintenance and don't require much water beyond drinking. Ducks are more demanding. They don't need a full lake, but they do require access to water deep enough to dunk their heads. Without this, they can develop eye and nostril issues. They're also messier, water everywhere, mud everywhere, and a constant desire to splash. But ducks are much more cold-hardy than chickens. They handle winter like champs, while chickens are more sensitive to freezing temperatures. The truth is, there isn't a clear winner. It all depends on what you value. Want predictability, routine, and lots of eggs? Chickens win. Prefer personality, rich eggs, and hilarious group antics? Ducks take the crown. Need something low maintenance? Chickens! Think water play is a bonus, not a headache? Ducks, absolutely. They each bring something unique to the table, literally and figuratively. So, chicken versus duck isn't really a rivalry at all. It's more like comparing two different lifestyles. One is a busy landlover with a knack for routine. The other is a carefree swimmer with a soft spot for group bonding. And honestly, both make our world a little more interesting. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.